All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So I just wanted to quickly update you guys on the data download we got on Global last night. And honestly, there weren't really any surprises, you know, anything that we weren't supposed to expect for this next celebration. But nonetheless, let's check everything out together. And uh, we're gonna start here on DBZ Space. As you can see, here is the AGL Kakunsa, who's gonna be available from the new stages of the Rebrian Story event. There's her SSR. And there's the TUR, and we also have the Int Rosie from the same event right here. And of course, the new summonable units, the LR Super Saiyan Blue Kakun Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. There's the SSR, the TUR, and also the LR. And the secondary summonable unit on the same banner, we have the AGL Krillin, SSR, and TUR. And that is... Pretty much it. So there you go guys, four new units dropping tonight at 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 1.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, I will be live on my channel on both YouTube and Twitch as soon as the banner drops to do some live summons. So if you guys want to, if you guys want to see me, you know, summon as soon as the banner becomes available, then make sure to tune in for that. Keep your eye out for the scheduled stream, which will be available a couple hours in advance. And uh, yeah, it should be a really good time. By the way, quick reminder, make sure to hit that notification bell beside the subscribe button because recently YouTube has been doing a really, really bad job with sending out notifications for all of my content and it's been really frustrating. So uh, if you guys are interested in staying up to date with, you know, my content, then make sure to hit that notification bell. Okay, I would really, really appreciate that. Anyways, um, let's pop over to the Twitter page of my boy Proton10MG, big shout out to him for posting all these assets. And we can see a quick breakdown of uh, some of the assets that we got from the data download. Okay, so like I said, no surprises here, but we got some uh, super attack quotes for the Rosie as well as some of her, you know, art assets, card art assets. And same thing for the Kakunsa right there. And then we have a bunch of quotes for the uh, AGL Krillin. And also the art for Krillin, there's the SSR, there's the TUR. And the new category, led by the LR, is going to be called All Out Struggle. So initially, when it came out on JP, we were calling it Desperate Struggle. But I guess for Global, it's called All Out Struggle, which is fine. It's still not a great category, but the name's not bad. It's not like Inhuman Deeds, right? So yeah, that's the new category. There's the Token Awakening Medal for the LR of course, and also some uh, super attack quotes for the LR, another super attack quote right there, and also their arts, the LR, TUR, and SSR. Yo, is it just me? Is it just me? Or is the SSR and L or and TUR art or the LR actually better than the LR art? I don't really know, like I actually like, I, I like this one a lot, especially with, like, Vegeta's face right there. But I think the TUR actually, or sorry, the SSR actually has the best art. I don't know. I have to think about it. But, like, I would not have minded at all if this was the LR art instead of this right here. Because I'm really not a huge fan of the shading, to be honest. And I always thought that this LR art was, like, one of the like less quality ones just in my opinion okay that's just me so if you guys have other other opinions let me know in the comments but uh yeah man those are the arts nonetheless and uh that is everything we got from this data download man oh oh also also on top of that we have a new uh tournament of power login screen the same one that jp got when the blue boys dropped there and i'll show you guys okay so these are the assets for that login screen right here and we got the blue boys in the front doing like their attacks and then we have Jiren in the background essentially foreshadowing the fact that LR Jiren is on the way. He's definitely going to be dropping around Christmas in about two and a half weeks from now. I would say roughly um, 20, I mean let me see, so it's the 4th at night or tomorrow is the 4th when the banner drops for me of course. Um, and two and a half weeks would be quick math. Yo, I just woke up. This is too hard. Uh, <laughs> so let's say like roughly 20 days. So it'd be like Christmas Eve, basically. Maybe like the 23rd 
22nd, 23rd, something like that. But right around Christmas is when we should expect the LR Jiren Legendary Banner to drop. Yeah, that took way too long. That took way too much effort. But look, like I said, I just woke up, so uh, don't judge me too hard, okay? But uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Assets for the Blue Boys, assets for uh, Kakunsa, Krillin, Rosie, and also the new category, their Doken Awakening Medal, um, Login Screen, and that is all there is to, to talk about. Oh, 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 actually, never mind, never mind. There is one more thing, one more thing. Uh, big shout out to Air Dokkan for posting this right here. These are the returning uh, events we're going to be getting for this upcoming celebration. It's called the Prelude to Christmas celebration, I believe, which makes sense because it's basically the pre-Christmas Christmas campaign, right? So, of course, we're getting the Magical Girls event because we're getting the uh, two new free-to-play units, Kakunza and Rosie, who both are going to be getting Extreme Z Awakenings as well in a little bit with a new Extreme Z area. And we also have the Bardock story event coming back. We have the Fight Against Despair Future Gohan and Trunk story event where you can farm a ton of Gravity Chambers. If you guys are low on Gravity, cham gravity Chambers like I am, then make sure to farm the crap out of Stage 2 of this event, okay? And uh, we also have the Universe 6 story event coming back and a bunch of tournament, turn, tournament of Power story events too. This one right here, this one too, and a Universe 6 Saga event, and also the final battle um, Universe Survival Saga event. So basically all the Tournament of Power events, as well as the Universe 6 events, which obviously makes sense for this celebration. And he also says that all Extreme Z battles will be available as well on top of this. Okay, so those are the returning events. In terms of new events, we don't know yet. Okay, we don't, oh, by the way, big shout out to my boy, Marquise Brownlee, no, Marcus, Mar I keep calling him Marquise. It's Marcus, right? Marcus Brownlee, great reviewer, great YouTuber, happy birthday. Um, anyways, yeah, so those are the returning events. We don't know what the new events are gonna be. So there could potentially be like, you know, a new Extreme Z battle potentially maybe i don't really know i don't want to speculate too hard but where the hell is the lr kale and khalifa extreme z awakening oh no not lr my bad they don't need one the fizz kale and agl khalifa extreme z awakening the extreme z battle for them where the hell is that bandai come on it's time no it's it's way past time we're way overdue all right just give it to us Hopefully tonight, when the news drops, we will see the announcement of that Extreme Z battle, um, you know, coming to global with the celebration because it's, yeah, it, it's way overdue, man. It's been way too long. So, you know, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna call it right here. All right, this is my prediction. You heard it here first. We are definitely gonna be getting that Kale and Khalifa Extreme Z battle in December. So not necessarily for this part, maybe, right? Not necessarily for the prelude to Christmas, but maybe for the actual Christmas celebration when LR Jiren drops. Maybe that's when we'll get them, or maybe like sometime in the middle of this month. Just, just at some point. Okay, that's my prediction. At some point in December, we'll get the Kale and Khalifa Extreme Z battle. All right, I know it's a bold prediction because it seems like Bandai or Akatsuki just never wants to give it to us. But I think it's time. Yeah, I think it's time. Anyways, guys, that is today's video. I'll see you guys at 1.30 a.m. Actually, probably like 30 minutes to an hour before. Because I usually start a little bit early just to allow people time to, you know, come into the stream, right? But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys soon. Tonight. Maybe 12.30. Maybe 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, oh, what's this? Uh, update. Remind me later. We don't need to deal with that right now. And, uh, yeah, yeah, come uh, join the summons, come join the party if you guys are going to be awake or are interested in that. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media.
Signing out.